Hi everyone, this is Grace at GB Maltese, and I have a request from a viewer on how to cut the plastic, the clear plastic, on some of the diamond paintings. Now, this is not something that I do, but I know some people like working in, in sections. For me, I just pull it back. I pull it like this and just work on one area. I can pull it to the side and work on an area. But if you don't want to have to deal with that, I'm going to show a couple of ways that you could cut this. I have not done this before since I don't do it, but it should be simple enough. If Let's say you only have scissors. What I would suggest is get a ruler or something straight and just decide how big you want your strips. And I'm going to just draw a line and I'm going to cut that with my scissors right along that line. I'm not sure how well I can do this and you be able to see it at the same time. Now, you need to always remember there is a front and back side to these strips. So in order to know that this is the top, I'm going to put a sticker. Put something so you know this is the top side. Because if you put this side down, it will stick and be very difficult to get off. So I'm just going to pull this up to where I have that line. And I'm just going to cut. I'm just going to cut along that line right here. Just like this. It cuts very easily. And it also sticks to everything. So you might want to do from one end and then I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to go from this direction until I meet to the other cut end. Just cutting along the line. Alright, that is now cut. And I'm just going to place it back down. Now, that's the reason I have this on here. You do not want to put it back on upside down. Or it'll be a mess. Okay. So, just put it down. And if you want to cut that into another piece, just cut it again with your scissors. I'm going to put a sticker on the top and the bottom area. So that when I look at this, I say, okay, this is the top. If I take it off, before I go to put it back on, I'm going to find my stickers and make sure those are facing up and put it back on. Now, if you don't want that all, cut all the way through, just cut part of the way and you can have it like this. Pull it there and pull it up here. So, you don't have to pull it all the way off. Okay, another way. I'm going to use my box cutter. You could use an X-Acto knife or whatever. Yeah, I keep... Okay, I... That kind of cut. There we go. I'm going to use my box cutter and I'm going to get this little extra piece off. I'm going to take my box cutter and I'm going to take a straight edge. You can, anything that you have that's straight, and I'm going to pull out, and I'm going to do this very, very lightly. Let's see where my plastic starts. It starts about right there. Okay, and I'm going to try to keep it up against this ruler. Well, getting a little bit off. You could also draw a line. And... Well, this paper, 
this is <laughs> this is the bad thing about this plastic it tears so easily so um, let me see where I ended up see how it's ripping like this I do not suggest you cut the plastic but if you want to it looks like I think the scissor method might be your best bet but what I'm another thing I'm going to show you is if you just hate the plastic and a lot of you know this you can put parchment paper just make sure it says non-stick if you don't get the non-stick kind this will stick like glue to your picture so I'm just going to remove all of this I'm going to remove all of the plastic If you just really want to do it, I would suggest cutting with the, um, okay, that must have gotten on there upside down. You saw how hard that was to get off. Dealing with plastic can be very tricky, okay, because it can tear quite easily. Okay, I've got all the plastic off, as you can see. Now I have a piece of this parchment paper. I just cut a rough estimate of what I wanted and I'm just going to put that on top and as you can see you can still see through it I'm going to go around and cut some of this off this will be much easier to deal with than the plastic <clears throat> just cut off This way I can still see my legend, which you need to still be able to see. But see how easy this lifts? Now with this, you can use scissors, and the box cutter will work much, easy, much more easily. This paper, you can put it on either way. It's non-stick on both sides. So... I'm just going to draw a line so I make sure it's even and I can go along it with scissors or the box cutter. We'll try the box cutter again. I think it will work much easier on this than the scissors did. So an X-Acto knife can be used if you have one and you just very gently cut along that line and see well I need to put a little bit more pressure and I'm going to go from this end cut from the like from the center and go down and there you have it cut so you have I used a box cutter on this you could use an X-Acto knife. And let's say you want to just make it that long. Cut it here, and then you can just work on a section at a time. Don't want to use a box cutter? Get the scissors and cut from each end. All right. I'm going to like this, and I'm just going to cut along in here, just like this. Cuts very easily. And then I'm going to go from this side. And I can decide whether I want to cut all the way till I get to the other end or not. But this is much, much easier than trying to deal with the plastic. Once you start cutting on the plastic, it tears so easily. Okay, now that you have this cut. I didn't cut it all the way down on my box cutter side, so I'm going to take it from right here and cut down just like that. And you can have it however much you want showing. Cut some more. 
to me the scissors are easiest when using these thinner types of materials. Um, this works great on if you have the diamond paintings that have the um, opaque covers. This does a good job. This works on this too. Scissors are just a little bit easier for me to kind of deal with. Now, I can pull that all the way off, and if I put it on the wrong way, it's still going to come off. So, parchment paper is fantastic, and you can just cut all the way if you want. Cut across this way, and that way you can pull once you're done with a section, or you can just fold it down like this. Sorry. So I hope this helps answer any questions about that. Dealing with the plastic and cutting it is very tricky. It's it tears so easily. Um, some of your plastic covers will be thicker, and some will be thinner than that. Because that really, um, I've never had a problem. But, but like I said, I, I don't cut mine, so this was just kind of a, an experiment for me, too. So I hope that this helps a little bit. Cut this way. Just continue cutting just the way I was doing. For me, you don't have to draw a line. You can just go straight down. I like the scissors the best. I'm just going to go straight down. It's cut. And if you want it straight, straighter, just draw a line like I did. It doesn't really matter. So I hope, I hope this helps any of you who are wary of using the plastic covers. If you have any questions, please leave it below. Or if you have any suggestions, leave the comments below. As I said, I, do, I leave the plastic covers. I don't like um, taking them off. I enjoy being able to just see through. You can still see pretty good with the parchment, and it isn't going to matter which way you turn your parchment paper. As long as you get the non-stick, I can turn this over, and it's still going to work. Just make sure you get non-stick parchment paper. <laughs> if you don't, you're going to have ruined your painting probably. It's going to be very difficult. And if you're not sure if it's not stick, for heaven's sakes, just get a small piece and put it in the corner of your piece because that way you could, you can still get it off with um, a baby wipe, something wet. Let it dry, and usually the stickiness will come back. If not, you can use Aileen's Tack It Over and Over glue. Anyway, I hope that answered any questions you might have on replacing these plastic covers or cutting them. I really don't suggest cutting them. And maybe I, maybe I tried cutting too much at one time. If I were you and you, and you really just want to cut, just cut a little at a time. But make sure you put some kind of a sticker so that in case that does come off, you know not to put this side down. Okay. Well, that is my tip for today. I hope that you have a wonderful day doing whatever it is you're doing. Have a blessed day. Take care, guys. Bye. Love you.